Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted a video, and since then I've improved a lot in my art skills. So today I'm just going to try to do a basic cat sitting and standing position tutorial with my new style, and see how it goes. I'm going to try to keep my tutorials more simple, since I've gotten uh, more, like, love with that, because simple tutorials are the best for new artists, and even old old ones because honestly who wants to watch a tutorial where it's going fast paced and there's so many details and it's hard to keep track with. So we're going to start. I have been using not just a white canvas lately. I've just been choosing a different background color to make it easier on the eyes. And then I've been using a free anime basic brush set because the sketch brush in this is really nice. Then I just choose a random color because it's fun to do colored and I just start. So what we're going to start with is the sitting position. So we're going to start with a circle. Honestly, it doesn't have to be just a direct circle because uh, cat, cat's heads are more of a lemon shape than a circle shape. And you can do guidelines like across or where the eyes are going to be. I usually don't, but it's up to you. Next, I usually add the ears, which are just triangles or curls, or it depends on how you want to draw the cat. This cat, I'm going to do a nice triangle like this, a pretty simple cat ear shape. You'll go up like this, and then you'll curve down. And then just to add some fun, I'm going to do the next one as an arc. You curve it in, do another arc, and then you connect that with one big curve so it has a folded ear. Now once we've got that, we do the inside of the ear by adding a curve inside of it. And that's the head and ears. What I usually do next is the fluff. Starting with the fluff inside the ears, it depends on what type of fluff you want to use, but I'm just going to do the basic fluff, which is going to do just a nice little fluff line. I'm going to redo that just to show you. So it goes up, down, up, down, up, down. And the more you practice with like loose fluff lines, the better you'll get at it. It just takes some practice. So now I add some on the head, a little tuft, and then I add some on the sides of the face. Now after I do that, I will usually add what I've been using for a muzzle line, which is basically just a basic oval. And then once you have the oval, you'll draw some diagonal lines within the oval to kind of just give it some more depth. Now you do a triangle nose, just a cute little triangle. You can do it as big or small as you want. Then you can decide on the emotion of your cat, but I'm just going to do a happy cat because usually with some other emotions, it's a different ear position. So I'm just going to do a little curved mouth. And then I can add these little, almost like curves on the end, because these kind of imitate the mouth lines of an actual cat. Now I'm going to lightly sketch the eyes, which are just big arcs. And then with this eye, you can kind of like trace where the eye would be, but you don't have to show all of it because of the folded ear. I hope uh, this isn't too hard to follow along with, but once you get the eyes done, you will draw an arc like this, draw a little uh, half circle as the highlight, and then draw the pupil. Then you can do that on the other side. And now you've got a cute little cat smiling facing forward. And the last thing I add to the head is the little eyebrows, which are just little circles. They make it easier to do more complex emotions, and they're also just a cute addition. So once you have that, you can decide whether you want any accessories or anything, but other than that, we can, we can actually just add a little line down here, move that across, and connect it to the top or to the bottom of the head. 
you can do a line down from about the middle of that and draw a little circle. And if you want, you can use the auto tool by drawing a, the shape and holding and then pressing with one finger and letting go. And it makes a circle. Well, usually it makes a circle, but it says up here, ellipse created. Now what you will do is you will come over here to this bottom area and where like usually a body would be without any fluff, you're going to just uh, use kind of that area and draw some fluff. And if you need a guideline, what you can do is you can like very lightly trace where just the body would be. Uh, and then you can add in darker lines some fluff. So the fluff can be as much fluff or as little fluff as you want. I tend to draw very fluffy cats. That's just how I do it because more fluff is very adorable. Now you'll connect the collar or head to the fluff lines. And once you do that, you will go down here and continue that line down with a slight slant so it looks like this. Now once you've got that, we're going to start with the paws, which I still do paws the same way where you do a shape like this. It's almost a half of a heart. And then I do a shape like this, which is just an upside down U connected to the half heart. And then I do another half heart. I'm going to fix that a little bit because it doesn't connect as it should. And then just do that again. And I'll give you a bit of time to do that again. Once you've got both of the paws, what you can do is you can take where the center of the two paws are and draw a line up to just below the fluff. Now what you can do is you can do two straight lines outstretching from each of the paws. Which looks a little odd now, but soon it won't. And then you'll do a curve on each of those lines, a little arc that will be the back paws. And you can stretch that further inward if you want, or you can keep it how it is. And then you'll do two bigger arcs that connect to the mid body. Once you have that, now you can draw the tail. Sometimes I like to do a little line to show where the tail is going to be. And to make this easier for you guys, I'm going to draw the tail in a different color so it's easier to see. So I'm going to do the light little line. And now you just do fluff all the way around. There you got a tail. So that's a sitting cat. And I'm going to get rid of that. And using a different color, we're now going to do a standing cat. This one might be a little quicker, just so that the video isn't 20 minutes long. And let's begin. So as before, I do a circle. And this cat is going to be looking to the side. So once I've got that circle down, I'm going to do a little bit of a box. But it's only half a box, and it connects back to the face. Now what I will do is I'm going to do a triangle and I'm going to do another smaller triangle that connects to the front of this triangle and just shade it in. That's going to be the other ear, but you can only see it from the back. I'll do the inside of the ear, a little fluff inside it, a little fluff on the cheeks, a little fluff on the head. Now we can get to the muzzle, and we can gently go over it. I'll go over it with a different color as before, just to make it a little simpler. Go over it, curve it inward a little bit where the mouth will be, 
and then connect it back. Curve it like this to connect it to the head. Add the little nose. It's not quite to the, always fully to the side, so it's kind of like jutting out a bit. Then for the mouth, I'm gonna go like this, do a little line, disconnect it a bit, and do another line with the little uh, curve right here. So I'll let you do that while I'm tracing over the lines I have. Okay, now what you can do is you can do an arc where you want the eye to be. You can do another arc and a highlight. And when cats are facing this way, or when anyone's really facing this way, their pupils are gonna be back here. So you can kinda like slant it and then go down. And do your little eyebrow. Of course, this is all by choice and this isn't like how you have to draw cats, this is just how I do it. Now what we'll do is we'll draw a circle up here where the shoulder will be, the shoulder joint. Then we will draw a line like this, slanted, and then it slants this way. And then you will draw a little paw, like a very basic one, but a little paw. Now, if you wanna break this down to simple shapes, what we'll do is we'll go from the circle, we'll do two straight lines, and curve to put them together. And then we'll use slightly curved lines to connect this to the paw. Then we can do a curved line from the head to the uh, to the arm. Now, about a little length away from this arm, we will do a bigger circle for the hind leg. Do a slightly longer paw, so a little rounded rectangle. Now, usually for the hind leg, I build up from the paw to the hind leg instead of the uh, shoulder to the paw, like I did for the front leg. So what I'll do is I'll do a slanted line pull it inwards, and then bring it back. Then I'll go back to the bottom with the paw, do a slightly curved line about to this area, and then I will curve it so that it connects with this circle. Now for the back, we'll go from the fluff and we'll curve it down, and then we'll curve it, curve it up so that it meets the hind leg structure. And then for the tummy, cat's tummies usually hang out. They're a little fat sometimes. So we'll go here, and we'll go like that. Now you can always add some fluff here at the chest. You can add the little uh, dew toes. Sometimes they're smaller than that though, so do claws actually. And now you can add little paw marks, just little curves. Little curves. Also one thing that's good to do for dimension is you go over here and you almost trace the outline of the paw, creating a new one, and you fill it in. Then you go back to the hind leg, just trace the same shape and fill it in. That gives it more dimension, makes it look a little more 3D instead of 2D. I'm gonna take a darker color for this and then you can do the tail. And there's a bunch of positions you can do this tail in. But I'm gonna do it in this position. Friendly hole. Friendly hello of sorts. Okay. And then you just add the fluff. And 
and there, standing cat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to make more soon. Uh, sometimes I just get distracted, and I completely forget I even have a YouTube channel. So let's hope that I don't forget this time. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Please subscribe if you want to, and see you next time.